field for tonight's fifth race coming out on the track on a nice twin trifecta carryover of over ten thousand one hundred dollars one is crown time clipper owned by esther crown over driven by dan ader two is gopher king brown owned by eileen brown with jack daly three is miss q owned by richard and joyce mcclellan driven by dave rankin Four overs eliminator owned by miller brothers table and kevin greenfield david miller will be aboard five is over cammy Owned by Single Stables, Denny Gibson and William Bates, driven by Pete Sturing. Six Appealing Iliad, owned by Charles Geiler and Roger Wallace with Hugh Beatty. Seven is FD Darkside, owned by Burke Lyons and William Townsend with David Myers. Number eight is Armbro Prevail, owned by Virgil and Linda Hensley Hall with Del S. Miller. Nine Velvet's Message, owned by Richard Neff and David Ehrenberg with David Ehrenberg. Ten is Mighty Cyrus, owned by Ronald Brumbaugh. Jeff Fout will be in the sulky. Trotters for the fifth, exacta, and the first half of the twin trifecta. Starting gate is underway. Field for tonight's fifth race is at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Appealing Ilya the six was off stride at the start. We have a couple of war breakers in the center. Two, Gopher King Brown is off stride. Four, Overs Eliminator is off stride. On the far outside, Armbro Prevail gets leaded quickly, draws off by five lengths on the turn. Armbro Prevail quickly grabs the racetrack. Over Cami moves in to be second, followed by Crown Time Clipper in the third. Out of the second tier, Mighty Cyrus fourth. As they move to the quarter mile pole, FD Dark Side up on the outside, Velvet's Image. Here comes Appealing Iliad once again off stride, though, from between horses. After that comes Overs Eliminator, who has quickly settled down in stride. Gopher King Brown and far back to Miscue as they move by the opening quarter in 30 and 3 fifths. Trotters in parade, racing past the stands. Armbro Prevail doing just that. Armbro Prevail has the lead by two and a half lengths. Here comes the 10 up on the outside. Mighty Cyrus along the rail. Over Cammy skims the pylons third. Trotting up on the outside, FD Dark Side after that crown time clipper. They reach the half in 101 and 4. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Armbro Prevail is there, three parts of a length. Mighty Cyrus attacks on the outside, second. Over Cami is racing third. FD Dark Side is up on the outside, fourth. Crown time clipper, nowhere to go in fifth. Overs Elimiter moving up on the outside, steadily from sixth. Big gap now to the trailer's Velvet's message. In between horses, appealing Iliad. Go for King Brown, Miss Q, as they trot by three quarters in 131 and three. Off stride again, Overs Eliminator. Field moves to the head of the stretch. Armbro Prevail opens up a commanding lead. It's Armbro Prevail on top by about four. Coming back between horses over Kemi. Up the rail, Crown Time Clipper on the far outside, Mighty Cyrus. Deep stretch, it's Armbro Prevail and Crown Time Clipper. Crown Time Clipper coming on. Here comes the unofficial winner of tonight's fifth race. One Crown Time Clipper, three-year-old Bay Gelding by City Clipper. Out of Jacqueline Score, owned in MacArthur, Ohio by Esther Crownover, trained by Earl Owings. Driven tonight by Dan Ader to a lifetime best of 203 and 1. One crown time clipper, the unofficial winner of tonight's fifth race. 